guys, welcome back to another ESL podcast. And for those of you who are actually viewing me here on my Facebook page or on YouTube, man, just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in to another listening section. Guys, today is a wonderful, huh, let me think, Saturday. That's it. And I've already done one of these listening sections before. I just want to say thank you so much for the commenters. I know a lot of you were talking to me about, hey, you know, is there a blog? What are the answers? This and that. Again. I do a lot of things on my Patreon membership badge, right? So again, this is just, you know, for practice and me going over the techniques. It's not so much about the answers, people. It's more about, are you understanding the techniques, right? Because a lot of us, we get, you know, thrown off by the fact that, okay, I need to hurry up and under, uh, know the answers. It's not so much about that. It's the techniques that I'm implementing. And again, I know I, ha I have had a lot of Thai students over the time who always say, what's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? But I'm like, do you understand the concept? Do you understand the concept? Do you understand the concept? Of course, no. They go into the test, they bomb it. See what I mean? So focus on what I'm trying to say, all right? Or what I'm saying. <sighs> With that being said, here we go. I'm gonna reverse this bad boy, man. I got so much that I'm gonna be going over with you guys today. I got myself the PDF of IELTS trainer and for those of you who have IELTS trainer again this is one old ass a book um and what I'm gonna do obviously for my ESL podcasters out there because this is especially for them because they've been following me for a long time I just post a video on YouTube you know just to just to help people let's just put it that way but again not so much my market so that's why I focus more on the podcast market. So this is why I'm going to break it down for my podcasters, because obviously that is my market. And those are the people who appreciate me like no tomorrow. I'm not saying you guys don't appreciate me, but nonetheless, here we go. Section two, baby. A lot of you have difficulties with doing multiple choice and matching information questions. Am I lying? Now, in regards to these questions, man, when it comes to matching information questions, you're going to hear synonyms. You're going to hear paraphrases. If you're able to follow the story with the multiple choice, you should be able to get a high mark. We're going to be going over both of those in today's episode, all right? But before we even get into that, as you guys see here on the screen and for my ESL podcasters out there, we have phrases, we have similar meanings. So the phrases, obviously, a wide variety. Recently easy to get to, no more than, a peaceful spot, birthday, has a view of, is different, upmarket, saucepans, all right, now, this is really, really for one of my students who I actually just finished teaching IELTS to out here in Thailand, big shout out to Palm, she's probably going to be viewing this video, uh, because this was the, the sections that I were, that I was going to get into, you know, at the very end of the course, uh, but didn't get the opportunity to, so I'm actually cleaning this up with you right here, right now. So, what we have, A through J, are similar meanings. So let me, let me, let me do this for you guys. Number one, a wide variety. A paraphrase for this would be a huge range, right? Recently, uh, this could be, uh, let's see here, not long ago. Yeah, exactly, not long ago. Uh, easy to get to, that could be convenient location. No more than, that means the maximum number. A peaceful spot, a quiet place. Birthday, a special occasion. Has a view of, looks out over. Is different, right? Has changed. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? Because a lot of you, you don't project what you may hear in regards to synonyms, and then here you are sitting, waiting for that specific word to come up. By that time, two questions have already passed you by. You're going to hear it, and you're going to see my cues and hear my cues as we progress through this video doing some of these listening techniques, all right? So what we have today, we're going to go over a nice little multiple choice here. What we have is questions 11 through 14. 11, the question is, market is now situated. Now, what is the paraphrase for market is now situated? For my ESL podcasters, make sure you tag me on my Instagram, share it away, let me know what you think, all right? Um, for those of you in the Facebook comment section, if I am available you know, during this time, 
I will respond back. But again, I'll help you with number 11. The market is now situated, meaning the market is now, well, I mean, well, I literally just said that. The present location of the market is now where, right? So situated meaning location, all right? So you need to make sure that you get the market. Why? You're going to hear other places. You're going to hear perhaps Car Park Cathedral or River, but it's talking about something else other than the market. These are distractors. These are what these things are to throw you the hell off, okay? Now, number 12, it says, on only one day a week, the market sells antique furniture, local produce, handmade items, okay? One day a week. What's another way that you can uh, say one day a week? Okay, listen closely. Again, it's all about predicting because we're going to go through this anyways. And then number 13, the area is well known for ice cream, cake, fish dish. And then number 14, the last one, what change is taking place in the harbor area? Fish can now be bought from the fishermen. The restaurants have moved to a different part. There are fewer restaurants than there used to be. All right, so now let's get into this nice old listening, and you're going to hear me obviously press pause, this, that, this, and then of course when we get into the second one, which is down below, I might do it for probably just a few questions and then I'll let it play all the way through. All right, so with that being said, people, let's get into this bad boy. I'm loving this. Here we go. So listen very closely. As a matter of fact, I just want to make sure that I actually hear the audio because sometimes they, okay, good. We're good to go. All right, so for all my ESL podcasters, you guys are going to hear this and man, let's get this squared away. Now remember, I just took all the notes for you, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to break. Now this listen. Down. And answer questions 11 to 14. Here we go. And now we have our Know Your Town section, where we look at what's on offer in our area. Today, John Munro is going to tell us about local food and eating out. John. Well, most of us buy our food in supermarkets these days, but we're very lucky having a wonderful market here. It was originally on the piece of land in front of the cathedral, but... All right, here we go. Let's stop it. Here we go. Now, it says here the market was originally, meaning the former, right? And then he goes on to say cathedral, which is in B. For a lot of people out here, you probably would have chosen cathedral because that's the first word that comes up. But if you did not hear the adverb originally, you would have gotten thrown off. Now, what you need to do, you have to wait for the contrasted statement. I paused it exactly when he said, but. So now we're going to hear where it is now, which is either going to be obviously at the river or the car park. At the beginning of the 20th century, it was moved to a site by the river. There it is. Okay, so number 11 obviously is near the river. So do you guys see what I'm saying? Like with these multiple choice questions, there is contrasting information that you may hear. So what you want to like envision and listen for is the but, the however, the therefore, the linkers in general. This is what I teach a lot of my TOEFL students out there. When you listen for these, it separates information. So what may have been true in the first half of that sentence, it could all be negated with obviously a subordinating or a coordinating conjunction, okay? That is one right there. So now going into number 12, on only one day a week, the market sells something. Antique furniture, local produce, handmade items. When the new shopping center was built in the 1960s, it found a home beneath the multi-story car park, where it still is. But there are plans to move it back to its previous home by the river. Mm -hmm. The market is now open six days a week. On Tuesday to Saturday, you can buy fresh fruit and vegetables, meat and cheese from the area, as well as a whole range of imported produce. B, but if you days. come on a Sunday, you'll find Sunday. a different market where craftspeople sell what they have made. 
things like crafts sell what they have made and then he went on to say bags cards clothes bags cards clothes okay now local produce and him talking about the vegetables and everything that was for tuesday through sunday if i'm not mistaken then he went on to say one day a week okay although he used the day instead they sell something else okay cards bags clothes does that fit in the antique furniture or the handmade items? See what I mean? Now, it's all about separating that information. So now we're going into number 13. The area is well known for what? Ice cream, cake, or fish dish? During the week, there are a few stalls selling more everyday utensils like saucepans and cleaning products. Oh, is that an ad? No ads. Alongside the fruit and vegetables. As well as one new stall selling antique furniture, which is proving to be very popular. Don't get thrown off by these dishes. People often ask what our local dish is. As we're by the sea, they expect it to be some kind of fish recipe. Wait. Our fish is good, of course. They expect it to be some kind of fish recipe. And he goes on to say that the fish is good. And then you're going to hear the contrast and in information. So we know, see, a fish dish is not the answer, right? Because this is what people expect it to be. Picking up on these cues are critical. Let's keep it going. But there isn't one particular dish that stands out. Mm -hmm. What we do have is an apple cake that isn't really made anywhere Ooh, else. Apple cake. Answer. There's a new cafe in the high street, Barton's. With okay, so here we go. Now, what ch what changed? Do you guys get what I'm saying? Okay. He used the butt, and then he went on to say, obviously, a cake. And it was very, very straightforward. Now we're getting into the last one. 14, what change is taking place in the harbor area? Fish can be bought from the fishermen. The restaurants have moved to a different part. There are fewer restaurants than there used to be. Which bakes them fresh every morning and serves them with delicious homemade ice cream in a choice of flavors. Okay. Now, the harbor is obviously the place to buy fresh fish. Every morning, there's a stall where local fishermen sell a selection of the day's catch before the rest goes to London or abroad. Now, remember, what change has taken place in the harbor area? So, what you just heard was A. Okay, those are being sold, obviously, fresh catches, meaning fresh fish. But we need to listen for the change. They've been doing that for as long as anyone can remember, of course. But However, the harbor itself looks very different from a few years ago. Different change. Most of the restaurants used to be at the far end, but that Over part here. was redeveloped and the restaurants had to relocate to the other end. Relocate. Many of them are simply the old ones in new premises. There it is, people, there it is. That's how it uh, works, okay? A, that's what you hear. Fish can be blah, 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 blah. Now, they talked about the harbor area. Change, okay, it was at one location, then it was relocated to another location. So, B, it says the restaurants have moved to a different part. That is your damned answer. So people, do you understand what I'm saying? How to follow these conversations? And again, so the big key here is the contrast and information, right? The but, the although, people expected it to be this, but it's actually this. Although, hmm, then hmm, you get it? And the distractors. You gotta make sure that you link up the information given in the question with the correct letter. Now, obviously that is, you know, choosing the right answer, but being sure that you are linked because you're going to hear several vocabulary terms that link here, link there, link there. He's going to go on to explain letter C. So let's go through this. But a couple of new ones have opened recently. So there's a good range now, both in the harbor and the town itself. I'm now going to give you my top six places to eat in different parts of the town. There it is. Before People. you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. So the rest of the talk, that's obviously going to be the second part, which I'm going to go over right here, right now. <sighs> so there it is. I broke down the first part in regards to multiple choice. People, I'm telling you right here, right now, you use this on the test, you're a winner. I do this with all my online clients who approach me, obviously, for my podcast and whatnot, uh, and they ask for help, and they all score extremely high on the listening because it's all about just technique building walking them through the test for a couple of hours and then boom right and so now let's go into the second phase this is another very difficult phase for a lot of people out there because basically it's like the headings of the reading right a through h and then 15 through 20 right so we have let's see here eight headings and we have six questions 15 through 20 for a through h two are not needed so what we have here is we have different locations in the town from 15 to 20. I'm going to state these out loud for all my listeners out there. Number 15, Maryvale's. Number 16, The Lobster Pot. Number 17, Elliot's. Number 18, The Cabin. Number 19, The Olive Tree. And number 20, The Old School Restaurant. So basically, we're, we have a nice little table, and I'm giving a visual to my beautiful folks out there listening to me. And it's labeled advantages. And then we have eight through H in regards to the headings, talking about the different advantages. So A, the decoration. B, easy parking. C, entertainment. D, excellent service. E, good value. F, good views. G, quiet location. And H, wide menu. Basically, you're going to hear these advantages but they're going to be stated completely different, like completely different, right? So instead of easy parking, they might say convenient car lot. I have no idea. Good views, meaning uh, breathtaking 360 degree something, right? Quiet location, meaning very peaceful. Wide menu, huge selection, right? Excellent service. It could be, they might use a different adjective in regards to excellent. You guys get what I'm saying? So what we got to do now is we got to preview the hell out of this. And I'm going to walk you through probably the first three sec uh, questions in regards to Mary Bell's, the lobster pot, and Elliot's. And then you're going to have cabin, olive tree, and old school restaurant for the remainder for you to answer. So let's do You this. can take a walk after your meal and find one of the cafes with live music. At Merivale's, you can enjoy oh, delicious I already passed it. catch oh, that's before the rest. Okay, here we go. Used to be <sighs> allocated to this. this. Now, okay, going to yes, yes, in time. Yes, pause yes, the recording no for 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get into this. Merivale's. Now Mary listen Bird. and answer okay, questions 15 okay. to 20. Let's do it. So, number one for me is Merivale's which is in one of the busiest parts of the town leading down to the harbour. It's in a parts? side street, so it doesn't look out over the water, but it's very close, so you can take a walk after your meal and find one of the cafes with live music. At Merivale's, you can enjoy delicious fresh fish and seafood. Fresh the friendly fish, staff seafood? offer very attentive service and a really enjoyable evening. Okay, there it is. There's a lot of different things. He went into Maryvale's after. He talked, obviously, about the fish, but that's not necessarily a wide menu, right? We're just limited to just fish. It's not like fish, steak, chicken, pork, Thai food, Italian food. It's limited. So don't get thrown off and say, ooh, he said fish, wide menu. Hell to the no. That's not what he said. But at the very end, he used two different adjectives to describe the service. Let me go back just a little bit. A very attentive service and a really enjoyable evening. Very attentive service. Like I said, excellent service, attentive service. Now, I could go back a little bit farther to talk about, oh, well, Arsenio, well, I think it's in a convenient location because it's easy, you know, he said it at the beginning. Again, what you want to do, sometimes it could be two possible answers, but in this case, because he gives a couple of examples in regards to the service, 
Boom. Just fresh fish and seafood. The fresh friendly seafood, staff offer it. very attentive service. There it is. And a re friendly staff, attentive service. That's two examples for one specific section in regards to D, it being excellent service. That's why you choose it. I could go back again, I'll reiterate myself, and show you, uh, well, he did say it's in this little, it's in the side street, so it's uh, not too hard to get to. And a lot of people people would say, oh my God, it's a, it's a convenient location. But to be honest with you, it doesn't say anything about convenient location. It says quiet location in G, but not convenient. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So let's go to Lobster Pot now. Really enjoyable evening. The Lobster Pot is on the main road going down to the harbour, so it also no misses harbor. out on the sea view, but the no food makes up for that. Ooh. It serves a huge range of fish and seafood, as well as vegetarian and meat dishes, so there's something for everyone. Prices are from mid-range to fairly expensive, so it's really only for a special occasion. That's it? Elliot's is in... Boom, there it is, there it is. So, what does he say? A huge selection, like I already told you, and I just gave you another example on to how, going back to the previous question, fish and seafood, that doesn't cover everything. But in this one, he went on to say vegetarian and meat. That is is obviously a huge selection and it says here in h wide menu huge selection wide menu that's how you break this down i'm going to give you one more in regards to elliot's and then you have 18 through 20 for you i'll be more than happy to post the answers after it's all said and done so just stay tuned for that here we go in the city center and is a very upmarket restaurant in the evening but during the day it serves lunch and coffee Okay. It's on the 20th floor above some offices, and it's a great place to sit for a while. As you can see, most of the city spread out from there. 20th floor, as you can see, most of the city spread out from there. If you're on the 20th floor and you can see most of the city, where does that fit into? F, good views. That's it right there. So now you guys have 18 through 20 to boogie woogie with it, okay? And I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all thing. It does get very busy though, and you may have to wait to be served. Ooh. Not far from the city center is the cabin, which is on the canal bank. You can't park your car there. It's a 15 minute walk from the nearest car park, but it's very peaceful a good place to relax away from the traffic. It's not cheap, but it's an ideal place for a long lunch. The Olive Tree is a family-run restaurant in the city centre offering beautifully prepared Greek dishes. It's well known locally and very popular. Service can be slow when it's busy as all the food is freshly made. There's plenty of room, and on Friday and Saturday nights, the wooden floors resound with live music and dancing, hey. which is certainly worth going for. That's dancing. Okay. The last place I want to recommend has That's only nice. just opened in a converted school building. The old school restaurant has been very cleverly renovated. The use of mirrors, plants and the colours on the walls makes you feel as though you're in a large garden instead of the city centre. There are only a few dishes on the menu, but they change every day. So, Tanya, I really... There it is, people. Ah! And like I said, if you could just follow it and you can hear those paraphrases and just be a little bit patient, because sometimes you might say some words, you might say, boom, got the answer. Not so. All right, you have to take your time with it, go through, and make the logical choice. Now, what I had taught you, obviously, in A through H, you know, questions 15, 16, 17, is obviously patience, the paraphrasing, the synonyms, and looking for that thing that stands out. Now, go back and listen to it again. Go back and watch it again if you're watching me. Do it again. Make sure you understand the concept. It's not about the answers, okay? So for everyone on Facebook and YouTube, it's not about the answers. Can you take this technique and this concept and apply it to another test or a test or 
another exercise. If you can, I just taught you the technique and the concept to doing this. And this is going to help your listening score tremendously. So with that being said, guys, if you're interested, online coaching for all my Facebook folks, yes, it's for a price, okay? Uh, there is a membership. Yes, it's for a price. I know I've had a lot of people out there who have said, hey, I need a free course. Hey, I need free stuff. And I'm like, hey, you could go on Google and get free stuff. This is already free, people. Oh, my God. So, again, online coaching is available for a price tag. Membership available for a price tag. Membership sites will be coming for IELTS in the future. But nonetheless, for you ESLers out there who are listening to me on Spotify, I love you guys. You guys already know how much content I pump out for you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. Follow me on Instagram and tag me and uh, stories. And I'll be waiting for you guys over and out.